everybody and welcome it is emperor bubbles and uh we're continuing the last uh we're finishing whatever the last battle the last series potentially here it's game number two we see some camels some ash cheeks of the camels that is parthia against armenia and guess what parthia is ragnar and Armenia is Lendon. Once again, Lendon took game number one, avenging his prior season defeat in the playoffs. And this time, he's back with the strong... You know, Armenia, Parthia, we've seen matchups like this. You know, probably expecting some horse archers, some uh, some baiting and switching. As we see, uh, before these armies start shooting, we'll try to take a peek at the armies. Parthia, Ragnar, four Parthian horse archers, looks like. Four there... On the other end, mercenary Samaritan horse archers, so four there as well, I do believe. And Armenia, horse archers, looks like he had four horse archers before one went hidden and another horse archer contingent, one of them being an armor, two of them being armored. There might have been one armored man over here. There was one. So strong there in Armenia. Some hillmen, some cataphracts, probably one more cataphract in the, uh, in the old woods there. Another, oh, an ass man, a carly axeman and a hillman and a hillman. So nice, uh, you know, stronger front line, good, pretty good melee for Armenia. An Eastern Spearman for Parthia. Camel Cataphracts, like to see that too. Three and four with two noble horse archers and some Persian Opalites. Let's uh, get this one underway. We got a lot of time on the clock. <laughs> Lots to digest here. Um, Lendon, if he wins here, he's got a date with Safado. Safana was your group B champion besting uh, Bobby and uh, Sir L was it it wasn't Lyndon it was Ragnar uh, besting Ragnar so uh, he's looking to uh, you know finish it here save a faction and then finish it here and move on to the next excursion move on to the next battle as 18 minutes are on the clock as we see some horse archers pushing and shoving still some uh, development to have here clearly we got 18 minutes I'm assuming of a skirm fest well I shouldn't assume because the Emperor's actually seen this battle this is commentated live as a missed volley right there for the Parthians it's in the dirt what are you doing you missed you fool a big miss one of the biggest misses I have ever seen what a fool what a fool so Parthia <laughs> that was a little bit a little bit excessive a little rude Emperor come on Emperor Parthia shooting at the Hillman as some Parthian horse archers down to 48 12 down so some strong volleys from the Armenians and London Ragnar you know head-to-head -head, Armenia Parthia both very comparable I'm not too sure who the top tier players think is better. I think it leans towards Parthia, I think. But I'm not 100% uh, sure. As you can just see, it looks like Parthia is actually having a bad time. You see 11 deaths there for those Samaritans, and up here as well. See what's going on. I believe he was losing some men uh, left and right. 47, so 13. No losses to Armenia quite yet, as now we see some noble horse archers going to come in and give aids, give respite to those Parthians. Four dead from the Armenians. Still just, uh, you know, an intriguing battle, intriguing matchup. Something that's standing out to me immediately is spears on Parthia's side, and then we got, you know, more sword heavy on the Armenian side. And Parthia doesn't, you know... The general got a noble horse archer, and you're spending a lot of money on that other noble horse archer. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Parthia or Armenia's got the eastern cataphracts, so a solid, solid unit. Uh, his general, who is his general? I think his general's hiding, but I guess we'll see if he if he opted to bring an arrow general or if he went with a uh, cataphract general as a hillman. 74 men standing, getting uh, taking quite a brunt, quite a blow from the Parthians and Parthia trying to uh, relive the glory days of the Roman excursion as they are finishing off the Hillman trying to get him hitting him in the back 37 and no route a little bit uh, well, what's what's the word a little bit uh, demoralizing if you are Parthia not getting a route as there is a Eastern Spearman taking a big hit from an armored horse archer down to 60 men and depleting he will route from the armored horse archer charge killing six Potentially another another missed volley for the Parthians and a defeat of those Eastern Spearmen. Now the Noble Horse Archers and the Noble Horse Archer General deep in the bowels of the enemy as there's as Parthia is spreading his enemy, you know, spreading him wide, making his men move back a bit. 
making him shift, making him rethink. It's still the helmet, eight Hillman and not Rowdy. I, that is just insane. If I, okay, if I'm Parthia, I'm getting pissed. That is insanity. You had to kill nearly every single man, and how much ammo did you, did you use? Two, what, what is it? 210 cost unit? 220 maybe? And this nearly looking uh, brutal for the Parthians almost being pursued and caught by the Armenian horse archers. You know, I haven't taken any numbers counts, but I'm gonna think by visualization here. Well, 50 and 31, let's see. 57, 33, 36, 19. You know, it's pretty even. It's actually pretty even, probably in favor of the Armenians, just a little bit over there. As the helmet is standing at 42, still taking a brunt of the blows, the camel cataphracts pushing back, and guys, they are microing like nobody's business. There's some decent volleys from Parthia. Looks like they hit most of the unit. Most not thrown away their volley. Uh, it, it's an emperor's specialty, throwing away his, his volleys, throwing away his arrows. As okay, Romania's definitely got a distinct advantage as he's pushes camel cataphract close. We'll see. He is retreating towards the camel cataphract. Romania going to have to move back. Think twice as they will move back, but not before routing the Siberians and horse archer and a potential route for Parthia against the Armenians. 11 horse archers sees, sees the the, uh, the potential and he gets the potential. Only one poor horse standing, ouch. And he's gonna, he's like, I gotta get out of here. Where do you think he's going? I don't know where he's going, but he's dead. He's dead as a Parthian going to have another out at 11 and his other unit at 14 and finishing up the eastern spearmen are the armored horse archers so this left flank <clears throat> getting lots of love excuse the emperor there getting lots of love on the left flank as you know you have three left to three as well but you're going up against armored horse archers you're not going up against it's it's not like you're going up against another Samaria to a horse archer. Uh, you're going up against the armored horse archers. I think somebody actually told me I was pronouncing this wrong, and I definitely am. It's Sarmatian. So, pardon the Emperor. I'm thinking of good Samaritans. I'm thinking of the story of the Bible. Come on, Emperor. You're blowing everything you trained for. Blowing it. Alas, <laughs> I'll try to get it right in the future, as maybe we can speed it up a bit, but I... I've, Every time I speed something up, I I miss something or you know something goes completely wrong. It's it's a it's a complete shame, a shameful display as this game says when the men flee from the field of battle. But Ragnar, you no know, needs a win, needs to do something. Balance of power not in his favor, leaning just a tiny bit. I don't know if you can tell, leaning a tiny bit towards Armenia and London. You know, uh, London coming to this tournament. Um, I think a little bit last season we did see the Lennon versus Ragnar matchup. He was definitely frustrated, and this time he might get the upper hand as that Samar Samartian? Sarmatian? What in tarnation? Horse Archer is gone, and both are gone. Massive victory on the left flank for Armenia, and you've got to imagine that those Horse Archers still had so much ammo left. Or Parthia and they are gone. They said goodbye. I gotta go home. I let the oven on the refrigerator is running I need to go catch it you fools You fools I and uh, gosh, I forget what I was talking about earlier, but uh, oh, Maybe I'll remember as we see some more exchanges of volleys. I think I was talking about uh, London And his match last season against I, I whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter Either way, Lennon is out for blood. He's got a distinct advantage, routing three horse archers on the top edge of the map up here in the blue. And the Ar uh, Parthians, uh, the Armenians, you fool, bro. You're blowing it. You're blowing it. The Armenians have the upper hand. Feeling, you know, we'll see how the, uh, the cavalry exchange goes here because, you know, who's going to be stronger? And, okay, here's a distinct difference. That's what I was looking for. The Armenians have got the royal cataphract. They don't have a horse archer. They have a royal cataphract. So Parthia needs to somehow find a way to use his arrow cab general to his advantage. How is he going to do that? I'm not quite sure. I am not quite sure. As we see, winded Parthian horse archers and winded indeed eastern cataphracts at the ready, at the steady, lurking and looking for the next bit of price. Still, just some movement there from the general. Fresh they are, and fresh are the Samartians. Samartians. I'm gonna get 
They're, the people are gonna be pissed if I don't get it right. I'm just gonna call them Samaritans. It's it's too easy. It's too easy to call them that. The Parthian horse archers now in and out. We saw okay. Uh, this might have been what I was trying to remember, but we saw last season. I think they did go Ar Armenia and Parthia, and they're doing it again. So this is this is uh, exciting. I don't know if they're switching roles. This is a big hit, Zane. Big hit. Those horse archers trying to murder, and they are murdering. Not just trying, they are murdering. 67 and around in the morale. 25 morale on Eastern Spearmen. As Eastern Spearmen dead, and look at all the bodies. Look at all the damage on the sandy, sandy plains of the desert. Just a, uh, the sand is going to be well fed. Too bad there are no crops to be grown here. That would be a great fertilization, but uh, not today. Not today. Not tomorrow. Maybe, well, maybe over here. You could potentially build some crops here. Look at that green, look at that green ground. That's some grass. Some, oh, it's blue. That's some nice, nice grass. As the field of battle littered the pyramids. Probably one of my favorite maps, to be honest. As now the Eastern Spearmen taking a brunt. Uh, 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 pyramids, you know, you got a lot going on with it. The only negative really is the hill over here, to me. But I guess it gives it kind of a little, little something something to do it is the edge of the map you're not gonna go over there quite often it's just you know it could somebody could hill camp it but if you, what i've seen is that if you hill camp you're probably gonna lose i don't know why i know i've won hill camping but uh that's probably because i bike boxed <laughs> and hey it wasn't a total war league game take it easy no no pike boxing in total war league but maybe Maybe season six we uh, get a little bit crazy. Season six, by the way, starting Friday, February 12th, only on twitch.tv slash curve bubbles as we see some excursions trying to potentially route that armored horse archer of the Armenian scum. Still at seven and still mighty. 32 uh, Samartians. Somebody's gonna. Somebody. Uh, Somebody can send me, you know, in the comments maybe how to pronounce that as we see their eed. Big hit of the hill and 29 to him getting toppled and pummeled. Some will get up, but most will not. Nine, and they will surely rout. Never seen a hillman survive with eight, and the prophecies have come to fruition as they rout the Sam Samaritans. <laughs> Samaritans. Being dismantled, they had 32, and now they have four, and now they have zero. Ouch. Nice win for Armenia. Nice pick up there. Seven and a half minutes, still on the clock. And the way I'm seeing it is a distinct advantage to the Armenians. Now, once those archers run out of ammo, what have you got to say? You've got to. Uh, Armenia's got a uh, melee advantage. I'd even give them a shot cav advantage. You got the general, at the Royal Cataphract General, who is going to be mighty, who is going to be brutal, and will not show mercy. And the party hits no mercy again. Four standing could potentially get out of there, but they say I, not today. Not today and not tomorrow because they're dead. You fool. Because they are dead. 37 there. Seven. We saw that, that guy at seven uh, last time we checked in and still not able to route him. So frustration seeping in. I'm surprised he's not trying to go for a melee excursion. Looks like Armenia could potentially accept as eight men and still standing still got the double route seven and seven as you see a uh, movement from london and his armenian cataphracts pushing back buying some time or making the uh, parthians use more of their ammo I, their, their 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 genius is beyond me their genius the emperor's not even he's a top 16 player all right he, he's not a top six player he's a top 16 player not lay it off but you know, if you weren't in the stream the other, uh, the other day or, or whatever, the Emperor for season six, guys, this is a 2v2 land battle league. The Emperor is teaming up with none other than Hamilcar Barca, $300 on the line. It's uh, going to be an extravaganza, a spectacle. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm expecting a victory. I'm expecting a victory. Although there's some good teams, you know, there's there's an, a Sarah Permenian team. It's going to be a little bit spooky. But uh, and I think Safado brought in or uh, somebody, somebody that I know is maybe it was London. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. To say the least, the only stipulation is that if you finish top six, you can't uh, you can't play with that other person who finished top six. So, uh, for example, Ragnar and London could not team up. Those fools. 
as soon as battle is going to unravel, I am going to speed it up because nothing has been happening. Just some uh, intense staring contest. You know, by the way, I would win a staring contest. I could keep my eyes open for ages, forever, for centuries. It's the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth as we're still zooming ahead. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Might finally have uh, some excursions, some engagements. The noble horse archers taking, a, you know, a, a little volley. Still eight dead there, one dead on the general. But uh, Armenia is coming in. The Parthians not set. So we'll see if there's going to be a distinct charge here against the unset Parthians. I think he is coming. I think he is ready. And if you weren't paying attention, you would be screwed, but Lendon is paying attention. He is at the ready, and he is aid trying to get the first charge. Big hit big charging, and that is what 21 League is all about. Nice strike. Royal Cataphract General now in to the Camel Cataphract. We'll see this nice horse on Camel action. The silver. Can't even tell who's whom. Camel's looking mighty, but they're being defeated there by the Royal Cataphracts. 58 into 49. My, oh my. As the horse archers trying to engage those other horse archers. Lots going on here. We see an Armenian route of the Hillman. Camel Cataphrax 60. Looking pretty decent here for Parthia as he gets a nice strike on the Jones. Trying to crush Carly Axman. 117. 92 on the Axman. Persian Hoplites, you know, sticking pretty strong. Sticking pretty strong as I don't know why there was a horse archer in there, but there was. <laughs> but there was indeed. And now the backs are exposed for the Parthians to expose. I just said exposed twice. You fool! Foolish boss. And so the camel's 33, 50. The general, 51. Nice damage. As the horse archers, ouch, getting hit hard. But the Royal Cataphract's in to the general. And the general's going to want to get out of there swiftly and quickly with the Royal Cataphract right on his cheeks. That could be a little bit spooky. A little bit uh, something to worry about. As a Parthian just being hit and hit hard. Lendon finding a big pickup. A huge pickup as his Armenian fighters live and kill the enemy bastards. Camel Cataphrax 43, Royal Cataphrax 44. Trying to get the general, but in it coming an axe man. So anytime you have a melee unit on a cavalry unit, that's going to be just a big, big pickup, a big, big advantage. And the tree's steady too, so blocking or slowing down those charges. Not sure if it actually slows the charge motor or just slows the unit. Maybe uh, we could have an uh, experienced player uh, come and blow as the Persian Hoplite's dead. And that Persian Hoplite dead. I see no more melee for the Parthians. Two minutes standing. The Camel Cataphract, a triple triumvirate route. And we shall see if they can withstand it or if they are going to go. As Parthia now has a loose unit, probably going to get that man in. He's, he's exhausted and hit, and I think he was moving. He is moving him. Trying to get him in. It's the Cataphracts 18. The Eastern Cataphracts of eight of, of Parthia 19. There's still some engagement here. It's minute three on the clock. I don't know if I see it away. You still got a decent amount. Let's see. Well, let's see if it's a decent amount. 30 and 8. Oh boy. Against 33. The general was at 26 and 19. They're not looking good in four huge melee contingents. Well, three, one of them being a hillman. It is looking dire. It is looking bleak. And Ragnar probably not going to be able to force a game. Three, one minute on the clock. Linden looking very good here. As we see an Armenian route and a Parthian route. So still, something's got to give. 66, 109, and 56. As the Noble Horse Archers in, let's get a live listen in on this bloodshed and brutality. Just immense slaughter, the troops going back and forth. Armenian double route, triple route. And Parthian not quite out of it yet. We see two more routes. The charges have been paying dividends for Parthia. Is it gonna be enough? 22 on the general, 12 and 11 on the cataracts, trying to get away and escape. They are routing and they might not have enough as the armored horse searchers are in. They're trying to, trying to dwindle them down, but they can't, this loose unit still un un uninvolved. And it is looking over, there goes the general. Almost a decent, exciting comeback for the Parthians, but it wasn't meant to be. Lendon is meant to be, as it is 
Rose, Beast, uh, London, securing victory, putting Ragnar in the dirt, eliminating his season, his hopes, as there's your final stats. London surviving, London thriving, London moving on. It wasn't enough for the Parthians, it wasn't enough for Ragnar. His meat, you know, his meat shields not too good. I just, I almost said his meat. His meat shields not doing enough, and the axemen did just what they needed to do. The huge kills, 109 of those Persians, but uh, look at that axeman, 135, 54, 131, big kills, and probably a lot of those cavalry. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful battle. Congrats to London moving on to the semifinals. I believe I have. All those battles say for commentary. I hope I do. I might have a couple, but uh, we will check them out. Alas, guys, you can watch me every single night on twitch.tv slash curvebubbles. We start around 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. Alas, glory to you and glory to the Empire.